mambo vipi kila mtu na karibu kwa chana yangu you know i'm talking about yes, Neweo nie yeni mo africa mo africa ya de mo africa nie de mo africa wewe mo africa yeni My name is Dexter and welcome back to my channel. Now today is a very very special day for us Kenyans. It's December 12th and that means it's Jamhuri Day. And that day is the day that Kenya gained independence. And so in honor of this day, I thought hey, why not make an ethnicity tag? And so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to do the Kenyan tag for my Kenyans. Since it's Kenyan Independence Day, today, Jamhuri Day, December 12th. Yes. So as you saw in the beginning, I made some Oji or Osholo. Um, yeah, like a lot of people my age do not like this, but I'm different, man. I'm I'm Kenyan as well, so I got some questions on my phone. I'm just gonna read them out, and uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Where are you from? So if you didn't know already, I'm from Kenya, which is a country in East Africa, uh, bordered around Tanzania, Uganda, Somalia, Ethiopia, and yeah. Um, I wasn't born there, I was born in the UK, but my parents are from Kenya and they came here, yada yada, yes. Do you have an ethnic name? Yeah, I have an ethnic name, um, it's Mongai, it's the name that everyone calls me, so like, I don't know, if my mom wants to, if my mom wants to send me to do something, she'll be like, Mongai! You know, she'll say that instead of Dexter. Um, a lot of people call me Mongai, I, I even think people think that it's my surname. When I go to Kenya, that's what my grandma, my shosho, calls me by, she says Mongai, that's me, um, yeah, so like, if it's not Dexter, it's Mongai that everyone calls me, so, anytime someone's like, Mongai, I'll be like, because you know, that's, that's me. What part of the country are you and your family from? So my dad is from a place called Roido, it's in, uh, where is it? It's in Thika? It's near Thika, Thika, Thika. I really, I don't have a Kenyan accent, so all these words that I'm saying, it just sounds so, white and my mom my mom is from Gidongoli which is uh, I don't know where it's surrounded by but I know that they're both in Kiambu County so yeah they're kind of in the same like vicinity yeah we're all Kikuyus uh, yeah but my mom's Kikuyu my dad's Kikuyu I'm Kikuyu I'm big Kikuyu family when was the last time you visited your country so the last time I visited Kenya was well this year this summer um, it was amazing, like I really enjoyed it, we all enjoyed it. It was the first time we went to Mombasa as well, um, so that was fun. Uh, yeah, like it was it was really good. I think this time was the best time that we went to Kenya. Because we've been there like four or five times, but this time, 2019, best time. So yeah, there's, there's a couple videos on my channel. If you haven't already, um, check them out. I did vlog in Kenya quite a bit, so yeah, feel free to check them out. Kenya was amazing, like the people I saw, the things I did, Kenya was great. Name one ethnic food that you enjoy the most. I mean, Nyama Choma is kind of like the generic for anyone. Like, we are big carnivores. I don't know if you can see that, but these sweets, yo, bro. It's December now, and I was there in August. I came back like late August, and well, they're all gone. A whole kg, they're, they're gone. So, yeah, um,. I know this isn't food, so it doesn't necessarily count, but I just had to add that in there. Tropical mints are like the best. Um, but apart from that, I think I think chapati 
is it for me. And I think that's that's my favorite ethnic food. That's my favorite Kenyan food. Um, I have it with anything, honestly, and you can, and it's it's really nice. Which ethnic food do you hate the most? Now, I'm pretty sure many diaspora Kenyans will agree with me on this because Ugali? Gima? Whatever you want to call it, that has to be cancelled, okay? It's just so plain, you legit just eat it for sustenance. There's no flavour, zero nothing. Like, they say that's why it's good for you because there's nothing in it, really. It's legit made up of two ingredients and one of them is water. The rest is maize flour, that's it. Maize flour, water and that's it. And that's, a, and that's food. What? But yeah, ugali is part of a bigger dish, so you'll have it with nyeni or chicha and I guess nyama as well. Ugali, it's part of Kenya. You can't have Kenya without ugali. They're kind of... Yeah. But there's another food, yo, like mapu, I mean mahu. Now that, that is the worst. Like, it stinks. It, it's so like... It's so chewy. Okay, so basically mahu is the stomach lining of a lamb or goat. And so when you think about it, people are ingesting what an animal uses to digest. You understand? Do you have any items that best represent your culture? This? 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 This, this, and uh, this. Now this is supposed to be a clock, but it actually doesn't work. So now we just leave it out there for like the aesthetic of it. Cause you know, it shows the big five of Kenya. But yeah, another one. This, and this. Can you speak your language? Paukeli na jua kongea loha ya kitaifa ambao ni kiswahili. Okay, I just read that. I'm so, and there's more, I just couldn't memorize it. I've just been reading. I'm so sorry. No, I don't know how to speak my language. I'm a failure. Please forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stronger with Kikuyu than I am Swahili. For example, if my parents were to be like, Mongai, Urugasai, I know that means Mongai, go make tea. Because they ask me that every single day. Are there any famous people from your country? Yeah, we know quite a few. We have Jomo Kenyatta, the forefather of Kenya. His son Uhuru Kenyatta, the current president of Kenya. Barack Obama, of course. Mangari Madai, a political activist and the first African woman to win a Nobel Prize. Eli Kipchoge, famous long distance runner and recently just broke a record for like breaking the two hour thing. We have Mohamed Amin, a famous photojournalist who Around the time when Ethiopia had the famine in 1984, he basically brought attention to it and led to the Western world helping and raising money for like the country. Lupita Nyong'o, famous Hollywood actress. Oh, who's that woman? The one in that interview, that meme where she goes, well. Well. Next question. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Yeah, what's her name? Let me search her. Lucy Gishohi, the senator for South Australia. And of course, Dedan Kimathi. Freedom Fire, who actually led to us having our independence in 1963. Do you have any thoughts about your country? Corruption? Well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> See ya. And the last question, what do you love most about your country? I think it's got to be community, um, you know, we're diaspora Kenyans and so we're not actually living in Kenya. But when you move to a new country, like the number one thing that we try to do is find people exactly like us. We are, we can be quite hospitable, um, friendly, like a Kenyan can't go back home without asking their friends or family like, yo, what do you want from Kenya? Or what do you want me to give to your family in Kenya? That sort of thing. Alright guys, thank you for watching my version of the Kenyan tag and to all my brothers and sisters, Happy Jamuhuri Day, this is a day that we celebrate our independence and let's just celebrate where we've come from and where we're going as a nation. Ikiwa umafariya video hi, tafadhali kupenda hi, na ushiriki kwa familia na marafiki. Aya, badai.